Me, Project Beat, I hate to be off the scene, but I've been off the scene for a while because of using circumstances at my job. I got hurt, I've been injured, I've been in pain, I've been suffering, and you know, man. But um, one thing that I realized, man, I want to talk about, man, is this, you know, white cops shooting a black man scenario. You know, it's just recently happened in my hometown, you know, my home state, where I live, Tennessee, Nashville. And um, all I can say is, man, you got a racist ass president. It's the racist ass state. The state is where the Ku Klux Klan was founded. The state killed Martin Luther King, cover up conspiracy. This state's got a lot of racism in it. So for these young brothers, convicted felons, you out here on the streets, you know you're a convicted felon. I just want you to realize you're walking around with a target on your back. And be as long as you know you got a target on your back, then you need to protect that man. Cause you're giving them any by any means necessary to blow your brains out of them. whatever. Man. So this is what I really want to get to. This is the topic of Project B, man. Project B, man. Uh, I've been I've been with my wife nine years. Been married to her five years just a couple weeks ago. But been with her nine, man. And I'm gonna be honest. This is my philosophy. Black women. I think y'all aliens. I think you're fucking aliens. You're not from this motherfucking earth, period. Y'all are aliens. And what y'all done done was create a man like me, you know, because my mother was black. But I don't think most black women, I think y'all aliens. And the reason why I'm finna, with the way I'm going with this topic at is my wife. She was working at a gas station, right? So she working up at this gas station. And uh, she ran into a little obstacle where, you know, it was uh, where they discriminated. So she contacted the EEOC and made, wrote a big old paragraph letter up and everything, scribing everything, doing everything, you know what I'm saying? So about last week, a couple weeks ago, they called, man. They called because she wasn't supposed to have no hearing until the 21st of this month. They called her early. Well, that's a good sign. She was all happy, you know, so this and that. But you know how a black woman is. First of all, they with you. They with you until they get ready to come into some money. Then when they want to come into the money, the bitch won't get smart. It's like, okay, I'm going to you with this. Okay, so then she called the EOC people. You know, they called her and shit, had like a little phone interview. They going to do an investigation. So they sitting there, when they first started talking to her, they told her, they said, well, you would have a case if you were still, you know, still working there. But by you quitting and got a high paying job and your witnesses and things, she said, this is what we could offer. So they offered, you know, Nice little piece of cheese, stack, maybe two stacks, you know, maybe a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars. Nah, she disregarded that. Yeah, disregarded that time she won five thousand. I'm looking over at a man at the time, I she on the phone, man, you know, I don't know, I don't know the name of these people, what to do. I don't know the name of these people and what to do, but I'm going to tell I said, I don't know the name of what you call these people, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you what to do. They're, they're a white man and all black with white gloves on a white face, and they don't say nothing. They be, you know, they, so I'm sitting there showing the bitch, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give the bitch directions. When she talking to him, I'm scratching my hand, you know, because old saying, you scratch your hands from coming some money. I was doing my hands like, and I do like it, you know what I'm saying, you digging your ears, somebody talking about you, so they be talking about money. So then, last but not least, I'm still trying to get this bitch because I couldn't say nothing because she was getting recorded, so I couldn't say nothing. So I dumped my wallet like this. Dump that motherfucker, man. I dumped that motherfucker. Motherfucker, maybe a dollar fell. I'm telling her, no, bitch, I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? Take this hill. Take this hill, right? So she gets off the motherfucking phone, man. You know what I'm saying? The only thing I had in my wallet was a dollar and some chain and some and some receipts on some bills and, 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 and some doctor, doctor's appointments. All I had in my wallet, man. And then she gonna get off the motherfucking phone and guess what she said? I got the phone. I said, baby, why you, you just didn't take that money like that? I want $5,000. I said, how the hell are you going to get $5,000? White man kill a black man. They family ain't getting nothing but 100000 to a quarter million dollars. That ain't no money. Here come the NCAA CPN. They ain't coming in on you. You didn't get killed. They ain't stunning you. You didn't get killed. All you got was disrespected. They talking about a thousand or two thousand dollars. Why you didn't take it? Well, you killed me. You know what? You killed me with all them goddamn penitentiary slangs. One thing for certain, two things for sure. If a duck can pull a truck, hook him up. If a dog, dog don't shit long, dog shit fast, he don't shit long. You killed me with all these old goddamn penitentiary saying. I'm from Cincinnati. Y'all dumb motherfuckers don't know how to get no money. We know how to get money. My mama's smart. And this, you know, mama crazy than a goddamn billy goat. 
Bitch good with the paperwork on getting money, but the bitch is crazy. Bitch been married nine times, so you figure it out what how a mama is, right? So then I sit down and say a word. I looked at her, and what really pissed me off, she pissed me off saying all this shit. Because I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to demonstrate because I couldn't say that because she was on the phone. So I'm trying to de demonstrate to her that we need the motherfucking money. But the bitch didn't catch on what I was saying. So then I just shook my head. But what capped everything off, man, was put the cherry on top of the motherfucking ice cream, man. And when the bitch looked at me and told me, she said, you ain't nothing but a fake-ass Louis Farrakhan, boy. I just shook my head. Now that's my mentor. You understand what I'm saying? And I wanted to whoop her ass like the police done right in the king. That's how I wanted to whoop her ass. But you got this Me Too movement shit. So I sucked it up. I sucked it up like a motherfucker. Guess what? Eight, eight days, eight days, 12 hours later, EOC sent a motherfucking letter, right? Mailman shouldn't have brought it to her, the military. Because when she opened that motherfucker, you thought her mama got killed on a roadside bomb in Iraq. And that's why I say most black women are motherfucking aliens. Y'all think you're smart, think you're so goddamn educated. Then when you make a dumb ass move, like I told her, then she gonna look at me, I hate you, you always right. I said, let me tell you something, baby girl. I said, I'm a damn fool. A fool and a damn fool. You can't get no motherfucking professor from any motherfucking university in this motherfucking state of Tennessee can go up against me and give you and define the word fool or a damn fool. I teach them motherfuckers something. I said, so you want to be hard-headed? You will look, they were going to try to give you a thousand or two thousand. You said five thousand. I'm telling you right now, white cops is killing niggas every day and they family ain't getting nothing about a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. You really thought she was going to get five thousand dollars out of gas station. Then she won't try to talk to me this morning talking about trying to, I need to, I need to listen to her. For what? They talk if they say give me five thousand the white man white man cuss me out, threaten me, call me a nigga and everything. If they talk about five thousand, guess what? I'm gonna take it cause ain't a goddamn thing in this wallet. You ain't gonna need nobody sitting in the background scratching their hands, you know what I'm saying, digging in their ears, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm I'm reading all that. When they talking to me, they're gonna be like, Mr. Jones, we can get you five stacks. Okay, cool with that. Cause it ain't gonna be the first time white man called me a nigga, it won't be the last time. This time I'm getting paid for, you understand what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I say most black women are aliens, man. They run their goddamn, they come down here with a big bright ass light on this earth. They got a big bright ass light on this earth, and they come out when ain't nobody looking. And then when you see the motherfuckers and try to tell the motherfuckers something, they don't wanna listen. You see what I'm saying? They walk, white, black, most black women walk around with a big ass shining goddamn light, like a light bulb. You see what I'm saying? They wanna be shining so goddamn bright like the sun. And believe one thing. Oprah Winfrey listened to Stedman, Michelle Obama listened to Obama. So you know what I'm saying? Them two powerful black and Beyonce listened to Jay Z. Them three most black people, most high powerful black women in the world. And they listen to their man. Worst thing, worst thing you can have as a black man. I'm gonna tell you right now, cause I've been disabled, been trying to work, but I've been fucked up. I can't work. Worst thing a black man can have is to be broke and have a black woman as a wife. I'm talking about a smart math motherfucking black woman. When she said that to me about Farrakhan, I swear for God, I wanted to go post her. But I didn't want. I don't want to go to motherfucking jail no more. I don't want to go to motherfucking penitentiary no more. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to better myself by any means necessary. But she hurt my motherfucking heart when she disrespected my mentor. You know what I'm saying? I told her, bitch, you ain't gonna get no five thousand dollars from no gas station. What they didn't do? Make your ass manager for what? Shit, manager looks sexy. You ain't sexy. Shit. You was nine years ago, but I don't know about now. I don't know about now. Shit. If you put on already, I swear they ain't like the Kool-Aid man. But peace out, though, man. All black women are aliens. Peace out.